Welcome Pisces. I'm back with another video for you guys for the month of September. So I'm super, super thrilled. Oh man, I forgot. Um, I wanted to show you guys the money magnet oil. Guys, you have to get this oil. Guys, y'all really have to get this oil. Okay, y'all got messages coming through. An opportunity is on the table for the month of September. Okay, so an opportunity is presenting itself. But listen, guys, the opportunity is this money magnet oil. I'm telling you guys. I've manifested so many great things um, utilizing this oil, okay? So I bottled it up um, to share with my YouTube family, guys. And when I say works wonders, okay? Works wonders. Currently, right now, at the moment, um, I am running a special for free shipping, okay? Free shipping for this item. So the link to purchase this is going to be in the description box. And if you would like to purchase that, you can go to my Etsy shop. I have the link in my uh, description box. Click on the link and it'll take you to the site for you to order your very own bottle of the Money Magnet Oil, guys. Um, if you have questions on how to utilize it, what you need to do to activate it, you can contact me via email. I'll leave that in the description box below and I can go over, you know, give you details on how to use it, okay? So we got meditation is going to bring you answers, okay? So spending time alone, meditating, um, you know, getting that connection with the divine source is going to bring you clarity on what you need to do to move forward. I do feel like there is a grand opportunity um, that is going to present itself to you in the month of September. All right, give me one more card for September for Pisces. Thank you. We got there's something better, okay? And if we got to look for a sign here, okay? Look for a sign. If I've been seeing a lot of repeating numbers, okay? And it's mainly when I'm thinking about this thing, this idea that I have in particular, or when something is getting ready to, you know, the universe is preparing me for something. So some of you guys may have been seeing um, number sequences or a song may come on that's giving you, you know, uh, giving you goosebumps because the, the words are just connecting with you. The universe has its own particular way in, you know, getting in contact with you and trying to get messages to you. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got for the month of September. All right, so if you are new to the channel, guys, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future videos. Go ahead and like the video, guys, if this video resonates with you, as well as comment and share with your family and your friends. All right, so we got the eight of wands that wanted to jump out. Things are going to be picking up. The pace is going to be picking up in September, okay? The pace is going to be being picked up. Oh, you guys got love offers coming in. You guys got love offers. Yes. I got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. All right. So you got um, love letters. I'm getting love letters. I'm getting kissy faces. I'm getting like messages of love. Okay. Someone's offering their emotions. Someone's putting their love on the table. All right. So let's see why. Give me something else. What else is coming towards Pisces? We got King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so some of you may be getting good news in regards to finances. Okay, so your finances could be picking up in the month of September. Because a lot of y'all need to go ahead and order that money magnet oil, okay? Because that money, that money magnet oil is going to put y'all where y'all need to be, I'm telling you. But I feel like if it's in regards to your finances, some of you are, you know, aren't too focused on and zoomed in on love matters. With the King of Pentacles here, this is talking about stability um, and your finances. The Eight of Wands is communication as well as things moving rapidly, okay? So, okay, we got the devil. Definitely Capricorn's energy, all right? So some of you are definitely dealing with a Capricorn, okay? We got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, okay? 
Maybe you um, have been in, not been communicating with this person um, in the past. But I'm getting somebody's giving somebody something. Six of Pentacles. It could be that somebody is actually giving somebody something or somebody is showing, uh, you know, equal give and take. Okay. With the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay. But I don't think they were doing this before with the Ten of Swords here. But now they are. Why was it past energy? Show me past energy. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn's energy again. Okay. So some of you. This person could have possibly had you in a third party situation with the Three of Swords and the Empress. Okay. But now they are regretting this. Okay. They're embarrassed and ashamed with the Hermit card here. Okay. So Virgo's energy. I got Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm getting nice. Somebody is embarrassed and feeling regretful about uh, something that happened in the past. Somebody put somebody in a third party situation. Okay, and then this person had the audacity to drag their feet, take their slow little time here is what I'm seeing as well, too. Show me future energy. I got the Three of Swords and the Empress again. Okay, so Three of Swords and the Empress. This is future energy, okay? Somebody still possibly um, has someone in a third-party situation. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting that there's three females or at least two females here. But I'm also getting that somebody is tired of being alone or being single or doing something on their own. I got the strength card and the lovers. Okay, so... Somebody's forcing somebody out or cutting some, forcing somebody to cut someone off. Or you've been waiting for somebody to cut somebody off. Because I got the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, lots of sevens here, and the King of Swords. Okay, so things could go more in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Strength card, Leo's is energy. And the Lovers, this is a decision between two people. So you possibly already knew that this person had you in a third party situation. Okay, this Ten of Swords is somebody getting cut off, like completely cut off. How do they feel about Pisces? Five of Swords, somebody is, um, you know, very sneaky and they'll do anything to win. Like this person is very sneaky, okay? What's the hopes and fears? The fool, okay? Pisces, it looks like you're afraid to take a risk with this person. You don't want to look back at the situation with regret with the five of cups here. And we got the sun card, okay? So Leo's energy again, but I'm feeling like you're getting ready to get some good news. I got the six of pentacles and a page of wands. I feel like somebody is getting ready to give you some good news. Like you're getting ready to get hear some news and it's something that's going to be very positive and something that is going to fill you with joy. Okay, so let's get to the bottom of this. Okay, because why is the ten of swords here? Yeah, somebody is done being patient. Um... Somebody is saying that they can't wait any longer. Seven of Pentacles is somebody invested in something possibly as well. To somebody invested in something um, and it turned out to be a flop. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Six of Cups. Or somebody is waiting for somebody to end something from the past, from their past. So, so you could be waiting for somebody to clear out their energy from the past, Okay. Because I got the King of Wands here, the Knight of Wands. Somebody is a big time player. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Four of Cups. So either you didn't want to tell somebody or somebody didn't want to tell you about what they had going on in the past. Why is the Devil here? Situation was very toxic. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Somebody here is stressed out, worried. Okay, why is the Nine of Swords here? 
seven of wands oh somebody's very aggressive okay so maybe this person didn't want to tell you because somebody was they may have felt like somebody um this third party could come at you aggressive or you would come go towards them aggressively why is the king of pentacles here so they waited until it was over to tell you why is the king of pentacles here yeah, the page of wands, right. They was cautious, okay? And they didn't know what to tell you. They didn't know how to tell this to you. They felt like you would come off extremely pissed um, and ready to, ready to go to war. So they didn't want to tell you about this third party until it was over, okay? So why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Ace of Wands. I'm getting a new start. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Eight of Swords. And so this, I'm getting like someone scared of the truth coming out or afraid of being exposed. I'm getting that as well too. Why is the Empress here? Page of Cups. Ooh, lots of flirting going on like. Some a lot of flirting going on, and as well too, someone's mother could be involved, or aunt, or grandmother. Um, so, uh, uh, I'm getting like a very mature woman here, um, with the justice card here. This could be dealing with a Libra, but someone may want an apology, or someone is uh like I'm getting an apology as well too. Why is the page of cups here? Page of cups is an apology. Knight of Wands. For what they did, yeah, that somebody put somebody in a third party. Somebody is definitely a player, okay? Because I got the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands. These is a lot of one-night stands, like, just kind of like over here, over there, doing doing what you want to do or them moving how they want to move. I'm getting that there's been a lot of flirting as well. But I'm also getting, like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, somebody apologizing. Why is the Three of Cups here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, that they've been being real reckless, okay? Um, you have a strong connection with this person. I got the Strength card and the Lovers. Like, you have a really strong connection with this person. You really, like, love this person. You have Four of Pentacles. You really want to hold on to this person, Okay, um, you're in love with this person, but you also know that this person has been keeping their options open. You possibly have been keeping your options open as well, too, because I got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands right here. Mm -hmm. a, a match made in heaven, huh? Y'all both probably have been keeping your options open, okay? And then we got the Five of Swords. Five of Swords and the Moon. Somebody is jealous. And somebody has a, a ulterior motive as to why they're doing things. Look at this, the Tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But somebody is extremely insecure and jealous. Um, why is the Moon card here with the Five of Swords? This is very nasty, spiteful, nasty energy. The King of Cups. Somebody has also been... Um, I'm getting like a stalker with the nine of wands and the chariot. Like somebody's trying to block someone from entering nine of wands and the chariot. Like somebody is spiteful. Okay. Somebody's giving off very spiteful energy towards you, Pisces. Um, yeah, somebody wants to see you fail or nine of cups. I'm getting like somebody is extremely jealous of you, okay? I'm definitely getting it. Why is the fool card here? I feel like you're afraid to take a risk with this person, yeah. Um, Queen of Swords, your energy is definitely like, you're not going to be, you're setting boundaries. You're not playing with this person. Like, if you do decide to take a leap of faith or start a new beginning with this person, it's not going to be easy. Okay, and why is the sun card here? 
Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You're happy that this person is putting in effort now. And see, like, we got the Ace of Pentacles. This is this opportunity, okay? This is this opportunity that has presented itself. I feel like this person wants a second chance with you, and I feel like they're going to be opening up and telling you things that they haven't told you, that you may haven't known about. I feel like more of the story is getting ready to reveal itself. Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, because see, at first they weren't with the Two of Swords. They weren't putting forth any effort. They were being really lazy towards you with the Four of Swords, like taking their time. And now that you're happy that they're putting in the effort, that they're putting in work. What's the Two of Swords here? Yeah. But I still feel like you're uncertain of where this is going to go. And here's this opportunity presenting itself again. Okay, so you're not sure if this person is going to, is just here for the moment or if they're, you know, um, you know, going to leave out of your life, but you're happy to see them put in for some type of effort. Yeah, because see, you have something bigger and better around the corner. And to be honest with this emperor card here, like, um... Yeah, six of wands. Like you got some you actually have something that is um something around the corner. You have something else that's around the corner. So you don't have to deal with this if you don't want to. Like this is not a situation where you're desperate and you have to you feel like you know you want to be with this person so so bad. This that's not the case. You're keeping your options open as well as they were. So, you got options just like they got options, okay? But I do feel like you know that you that there's something better. You don't have to deal with this. Um, but I feel like some of you are going to take some time. Um, I don't see you guys rushing into anything. The opportunity has presented itself, but I feel like you're going to take your time. Clarify opportunity for me, for Pisces. Yeah, see, the lovers and the four of pentacles, like I said, okay, somebody still, you guys still love each other, you guys still have feelings for each other, but you're looking at this situation like the tower and the five of cups, like, you're not trying to be embarrassed, you're not trying to look stupid, you're not trying to have this blow up in your face, even though I do feel like you still love this person um, you have feelings for this person. There is a decision that possibly needs to be made between two people with the lovers. That could be a decision between two people. Okay. So let's see why um, meditation brings the answers. So I think you're going to think about it. Yeah. Four of wands. Um, you could be married to this person. Somebody walked away. Okay. Somebody ghosted somebody. And I'm getting that there could have possibly been family involved or a marriage because i got the ten of pentacles here as well as the four of wands that is home life a marriage or a live-in situation and i feel like somebody ghosted somebody with a hermit and an eight of cups but i'm getting like somebody just not wanting uh not doesn't want doesn't want the truth to come out about something why is the four of wands here eight of pentacles Okay, somebody wants to work on the family or work together or come together. Somebody definitely wants to work together. I'm definitely getting that. And communication coming in from my earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with this king of pentacles, page of wands, and the eight of wands. So communication is definitely coming in. I feel like you're getting ready to be getting lots of attention from this person, um, saying that they want to, you know, work on something long term or work on building something or um you know just work on the family unit why is the eight of pentacles here yeah somebody definitely wants a second chance with the judgment card here um things have been on hold they have been taking their slow ass time with the hangman and the knight of pentacles this person moves slow as hell okay they don't let a lot of time go by they have let a lot of time go by. And now they're they're wanting to put in effort. Um, and they want this second chance. Okay. 
but I feel like you're going to think about it, okay? You, I don't feel like you're going to just jump on it just because the opportunity presented itself, okay? And then we got there something better. What's, what's this for Pisces? Okay, Hermit. That's you looking for something better, okay? Because you may feel like this person is just too flighty for you. This person is just too all uh, over the place. They in one minute and they out the next minute. You might feel like they be they flirt too much. Um, we got the page of cups and the empress here. You may feel like they just flirt too much, okay? They be doing too much. <laughs> Why is the hermit card here? This is Virgo's energy, king of cups. Yeah, so you're looking for someone who's more emotional, who can provide you more with emotional stability, like someone who's more caring and shows you more affection. Um, you're looking for someone that is, you know, more of on that tip. Okay, so I do feel like you guys have some options on the table. Um, and some of y'all are going to decide to wait it out, like to be patient and look at your other options. Okay, because I just feel like some of y'all aren't too too stoked about going back to the past with this Ten of Swords. Like when you think about this situation, like I don't feel like you, this is something that you want to rush into right away. Like, you know, you feel like I got other options. At this point, let me shop, okay? Let me shop. But I do feel like new love is on the horizon or someone here is really wanting to express how they feel. Where's the King of Cups here? You're looking for your match. And then we got the Fool. Where's the Fool here? Yeah, because, see, you... You... <laughs> I don't feel like you're too, you're going to think about it. I'm just getting like, I'll think about it. I'm going to think about it before I make this move. Let me think about it, okay? Because I guess you've been watching this person with the Page of Swords. You've been watching and you've been waiting for this for this person to come back towards you. But I feel like now that the opportunity has presented itself, you're kind of like, let me think about it. I'm going to think about it. What's the four of pentacles here? It's like both of you guys are holding on to like feelings and you know this this connection. Yeah, the justice card. And there's this opportunity again. See, look, somebody wants a new <laughs> something new with you. Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. They want you to accept this offer. Okay. They want you to accept this offer. Um I just don't know if you're going to do it, okay? I don't think you trust this person with the nine of wands. I don't think you trust this person. But they want you to accept this offer. I'm going to grab a few more cards. Let's see. On this side here, I'm going to put you guys' energy on this side here. I'm going to put their energy, and then I'm going to see just, like, what, what are their intentions? Like, how do they really feel? Pisces, give me Pisces' energy, give me Pisces' partner's energy, and give me a mutual energy. Like, what are, what are, show me their Pisces' energy, their person's energy, and what intentions, like, what are their intentions towards Pisces? What do they want? All right, so we got Queen of Wands, and we got the Moon at the bottom of the deck, the Chariot card. Okay, so let's see. Seven of Swords is their energy. Yeah, they want you to take some type of risk, but their energy is the Seven of Swords. Well, okay, this is Pisces' energy. This is their energy. And this is what they want. So, Pisces... You're coming off as the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So you're coming off fine as fuck. <laughs> like you popping, you popping your shit. Uh huh. You popping. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Like you big popping, and they see it. Page of Swords. They see it. They watching. 
They watching you. You coming off as very independent, like you doing your thing. You doing your thing and you fine doing it. Okay, so why is the Seven of Swords here? They're being sneaky. Uh-huh. With the Five of Swords. Their intentions are not not right. Okay. And then we got the devil. Their intentions are definitely not right. Okay. Their intentions are not right. And they want you to jump into this head first. Why is the fool here? Yeah, Knight of Wands. They want you to jump into this head first, okay? And no, mm -mm. yeah, because they, look, they got other options. They got Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. They got other options. Look, Empress, they got other options, okay? They got their options open. And I would suggest that you keep yours open because at this point, like, who's about to play their fool? Like, they want you to be their boo-boo the fool. And no, and I think that's what they, I'm going to call this read. They want you to be boo-boo the fool. They're boo-boo the fool. And where they do that at? No, we're not doing it. All right, guys. So if this message resonated with you guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment, share with your family and friends. If you want to book your very own personal reading, contact information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, if you want to order the Money Magnet Oil, that information is in the drop box below as well. Free shipping on all U.S. orders at the moment, okay? So until next time, I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.